While much of this year's annual trip to the nation's capital is focused on local requests like transportation bill or immigration or education, foreign policy, especially the global threat posed by ISIS, is also a topic of discussion. Senator Dan Coach serves on the Senate Select Intelligence Committee, and Senator Joe Donnelly serves on the Armed Services Committee. And News 18's Dan Klein joins us now live from Washington, D.C., and reports the two men disagree on how long it may take to deal with the ISIS situation. Dan? Well, Jeff and Gina, last night I told you that one of the highlights was in meeting with Joe Donnelly that the senator believes that the threat posed by ISIS can be eliminated within a year or two. But Senator Dan Coats is less optimistic. He says it's good that the U.S. is helping to form a coalition to battle the threat, but he adds that while the U.S. can and should help, Air support won't be enough. The problem won't be solved without engagement from moderate Muslim countries and probably with some of their soldiers on the ground. I see this spreading. Uh, I see thousands of people coming from more than 90 countries to join ISIS. Uh, this is something that's going to take uh, quite a long time to address. And the current strategy uh, that the coming out of the White House falls far short of addressing that. The delegation also met with several other groups today. With the Organization for International Investment, they discussed how to attract and market the Lafayette area even more strongly overseas. And that's something that's already vital for the area. Now listen to this fact. 40% of Lafayette manufacturing jobs come from companies who have foreign ownership. Now we're talking about Subaru, Fairfield Manufacturing, just to name a few. That's eight to 10,000 jobs. They also talked about issues facing the manufacturing industry with the National Association of Manufacturers Trade Group. Area leaders tell me that this is one of the best trips that they've, uh, the, the delegation has ever had. Coming up on News 18 at 11, I'll tell you why. And I'll have a little bit more on the group's meeting with Amtrak. Reporting live from Washington, D.C., Dan Klein, News 18.